Welcome to another session of how to do things in Excello. Today we're going to be looking at accounts and rates. The way we're going to get there is clicking here, going down to configuration, which will bring you to this screen right here. So billing and rates right there. Let's go ahead and select settings. So here we have a lot of information. I'm going to walk you through some of it. Some of it you can read in the gray here and that's tell you what it means, but we'll walk through it together. So of course billing, billing. The billing staff is going to be the person who's in charge of all accounts receivable and payable in your company, the person that needs to be notified when invoices are posted, for example, or paid. Expense approval, we have Mark Jellison, but we can go ahead and change that to Rebecca Graham. Business number title. This is the number title of your business identification number, such as a VAT ID or an ABN. And it is used in conjunction with the actual number below in your invoices, which is also optional. So the business number currency symbol. Here we have the dollar sign, but we could have a euro or a pound. Currency title, tax, invoice, next invoice ID, just like retainers, tickets, and projects and sales, which all have IDs. This will be the next number that shows up on your invoice. Default invoice due dates. So when you raise an invoice, the default one will be two weeks from when it's raised. As we scroll down, we see many other options. Down here, we can also integrate with Stripe, Authorize, and PayPal. Thank you for watching. Good luck.